As we prepare to venture deeper into space on long duration missions, there are lots of things to consider when it comes to just how much the crews will be able to take along with them. Lori Meggs is at the Payload Operations Integration Center at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center to talk about one of the things that is very near and dear to her heart and one of her favorites, clothes. Lori? That's right, but wouldn't it be a lot easier if we could just wear the same clothes every day until we got tired of them and then throw them away? Well, that's how it works for crew members on the space station. And until now, it's never really been studied as to how long they wear their clothes, but it's vital information as we go deeper and farther into space. But in order to uh, wear your clothes longer, well, you've got to find that right fabric. And that's where a three-year advanced clothing study comes in. Finally, a shopping spree. Actually, it's an advanced clothing study that's going to look at the types of clothes that we need to send for astronauts and crew members to wear as we go further to asteroids and to Mars. Evelyn Orndorff is actually studying this, and, and, and you're a textile engineer. Tell us what we're looking at here. We are looking at the three years of uh, um, uh, studies on different clothes that we would like to uh, uh, select from for those long duration missions that will take us to Mars. So it was ground based studies for about three years, right? Correct. And and what did you find? You found that this row <laughs> is actually better to send yes. so, to the space station. Uh, just in front of you uh, are the different garments we actually send uh, on orbit for expedition 39 and 40 with crew of three astronauts and three cosmonauts who wore those clothes. Some of these clothes are exercise clothing and the others were uh, two of the uh, t-shirts were used as routine wear over six, uh, 15 sessions and uh, Darwin will explain that later what uh, we're talking about. And, and this is pretty much basically what they exercise in and, and maybe kind of wear day-to-day, -day, just yes. I guess what we would say lounge yes. clothes? Yes, so uh, what was uh, shipped was right there, the two polyester, the shorts and the polyester um, t-shirt, and it was used for exercise, but then we also used wool for exercise because wool has very interesting properties in drying, and actually after it has dried, it smells bad when it's wet, but when it's dried, it doesn't smell anything. And uh, that's what we want when these yes. when they're exercising, when they're sweating. Yeah. I mean, how long do they typically wear their clothes right now? Well, uh, we have never captured that because in the uh, crew catalog, we uh, recommend a certain usage rate. And based on that rate, we know uh, when to resupply. But we have never studied and asked any uh, crew members uh, all the way from shuttle program to the space station program, how long they were the clothes. So this is why we needed to do those studies. It was very important that we start quantifying lens of wear. And it's pretty much a dream come true. You just wear it as long as you can, then you throw it away right now. But, but that's not going to be possible as we go farther. Correct. Uh, basically, uh, using disposable clothing of a, a long duration mission is a heavy burden on the logistics and we cannot afford to use the same type of garments on those long duration missions that we have used so far in those missions like shuttle and uh, station uh, uh, missions where you have uh, constantly a resupply of uh, food and clothing and, and other consumables. For some programs we've had in the past, we were on the forefront of textile technology. We were not just using what's commercially available, we were designing for those spacecraft. With the uh, shuttle and station, uh, we have ambient air. So we can use the same thing we use on Earth, but we want to pick, or at least what we did in those studies that led to the selection of what went on the, the um, expedition 39 and 40, uh, that's based on the best that's available now. And this is why you see all these garments, because before we selected these, we looked at what you see there uh, with all these other fabrics. All right, we have the marina wool under the microscope, and, and this is the fabric that I was just holding, and, and that was what was selected for the study. Yes, it's one of the fabrics that was selected for the AVA closing study, and when we looked at different types of wool, the reason we chose merino is because uh, they are the finest uh, wool fibers. As you touch the fabric, you don't have the usual uh, prickliness you have uh, with uh, traditional wool, like a yeah. Shetland cheap uh, um, 
really smooth. Uh, well, yes. And so when you look at it under the microscope, then you see all of these really neat pictures here. What yes. are we looking at there? So uh, what we look at uh, first, because these were new products to us, we looked at the type of uh, neat construction. These are all knitted goods that we have. Those merino uh, wool fibers, the wool industry has uh, done lots of uh, um, advances in making uh, these um, fibers uh, feel smoother, hence the you know touch when you touched it earlier, you didn't realize it was wool until we told you. Right. And uh, so they're also less likely to form those little pairs, hence they'll be more durable. And that's what we're looking for, and we picked some products that were the best uh, in what was available commercially. So these were the actual clothes used in the IVA clothing study. Tell us about that. Uh, right. The, uh, we, we had a ground study that uh, ran for about a year, year and a half when we had 80 participants and there were, we had them wear all sorts of different fabrics and that uh, led us to choose the fabrics used in the uh, space station study, the IVA clothing study. And, and that's these. The, the, right. This we is chose wool. I mean, yes, well, full, feel that, it, and you wouldn't believe that that's wool. So, no. uh, yeah, this this is merino wool. It has uh, a longer fiber, and it's been specially processed. And these are polyester. Right. Really, really light polyester. Right, right. Those are the lightest polyester that uh, shorts that we can buy on the market. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, and, so tell us what we what we looked for in this study on the space station. How long it went for, and how many subjects you had. Right. Well, we had uh, actually we ended up with six subjects: three astronauts and three cosmonauts. Okay. And uh, my understanding w it was that our study was, in a way, groundbreaking in the sense this was the official, first official involvement of both astronauts and cosmonauts uh, in a human study. Uh, well, we all like clothes. It's, it's universal. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, so we were lucky to get the, the, the extra three participants. And uh, we asked them to, to set aside 15 days, 15 exercise periods to wear these exercise clothes and uh, routine uh, t-shirts. We allocated six sets of clothing for them to wear in the 15 days, but when they would get tired of a particular garment, they would dispose of it and then uh, pick the next one that was assigned to them in a particular sequence. Each astronaut had his own sequence. Uh, between wool and polyester and wet acrylic, and uh, uh, none of the astronauts or cosmonauts got fully to the end of their uh, six. Uh, so they set. lasted a little longer. Than yeah, they, yeah, they they did. So they ended up with a lot of extra clothing up there in, in their pantry aboard the space station. Not uh, a bad problem. You know, so it's all about just how long they felt like wearing. Right, and we also collected. Well, we collected length of wear data. Yeah, and we collected perception data with a daily questionnaire. And uh, we are in the process of uh, compiling the questionnaire data and analyzing it. And sometime in the future, hopefully this year, we will have the results uh, from that study. And then I can get some and I can say I wear what astronauts wear. That's right, yeah. 